My biggest dreams to see you This is our last prayer here and I'm so, so sad to go. It's time to pray. We just prayed Zuhur and now we are going to be heading off to Mecca, inshallah. Um, oh my God. I, I feel really sad that I'm leaving and I haven't fully contemplated that I'm leaving yet. Like in my mind, I still think that I've got Astra to pray here. But realistically, yeah, we're leaving soon. And Oh, I don't want to go. I was I want to go to Mecca really badly, but I don't want to leave here. I was literally saying to my friend Lara this morning, I think I'm going to get a job working in the hotel, like as a cleaner or working on the buffet because I love the dal here. I don't want to go. Well, the Sahaba to the camps have been so it's been a few days um, in this place here. This is very great. This is very good. This is the arm. And he's starting um, from here. Yeah. This place is so we're gonna go in there. You gotta pray to right one. Let bake a law, let bake, let bake a sharik, let bake in Alhamda, one near Mata, like a well mulk, la sharik, let bake a sharik, like a bake in Alhamda, one near Mata, like a well mulk. My biggest dreams to see you honestly can't believe I'm here to be honest I didn't film anything until I finished doing tawaf now I finished doing tawaf I'm just waiting for the rest of the group so now I'm just waiting but I honestly can't look at the Kaaba without just getting so emotional because you know what I just keep thinking like why did Allah choose me like out of all the people in the world why did Allah choose me like, why did Allah choose me to be Muslim Oh, oh my. How was it? How did you find it? It's weird. It's really hard to like connect when there's so many people around. I don't know. You're like really good at that, but I feel it's not. I just couldn't. I cried the entire time. I might even be haram. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know if you're allowed to cry while doing tawaf. Allahi, I don't know. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We just had zamzam and and made dua while facing the Kaaba, looking at the Kaaba and drinking zamzam. Damn. Uh, you know it's weird like I just feel so like blessed to be here I just feel like I'm so happy yeah. like you're like crying like crazy but I just feel really happy like I just feel really like content and blessed you guys have so much going on as well that it's just like yeah it's a bit mad here in, in Saudi I love it so the much situations though. that we've gone through I love it so much. Like, nobody would believe what's happened on this trip Nobody My biggest dreams to see you I have no idea what piece of hair it was, but I officially am not in Ihram anymore, and it feels so weird. <laughs> I just got back from Umrah, alhamdulillah. I didn't get that many shots because obviously I didn't want to record too much because I wanted to do Umrah. So every time I wasn't doing some kind of ibadah, we had like a break, we were waiting for people and stuff. 
that's when I film. But I really, really wanted to film the experience. One, for selfish reasons, because I wanted to look... I wanted to look back on the video once I go back to London to remind myself of the experience, of the way I felt, of the way I was connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also because I wanted to inspire that in other people, inshallah, that's always one of my missions. So when we walked into the masjid, you know, we make the dua, we go into the masjid, the, the sheikh, the leader of our group, he said to us, you do not look up until I say so. So everyone had to look down, right? So and I'm just like, I've already started crying at this point because I'm just like imagining seeing it and I'm just so excited. And we get there and then the shake is like, okay, look up. And then me and Nyla, we just can't, we just can't look up. We're I just looked up and I just burst into tears. I was just crying, I was crying for ages. And that was it, I cried for the entire thing. <laughs> I just couldn't stop crying. I don't know what it was. I honestly don't know why I couldn't stop crying. I don't know whether it's... There were lots of different things that kept coming into my mind, right? I kept thinking like, uh, I, it was a lot of gratitude. I was feeling so blessed to be there. I was feeling so blessed that Allah made me Muslim. These were things that kept going through my head. I was also thinking about like, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the hardships he had in Mecca and I was thinking about Ibrahim Alaihi Wasallam um, and building the Kaaba and I was thinking about Allah and all the amazing things Allah has done for me and I was feeling like I don't deserve any of those things and I was so grateful for the fact he'd done so much for me and then and then a lot of it was coming from guilt feeling like I wasn't doing enough ibadah when I was in the UK. Like, I wasn't praying enough. I mean, obviously, I was doing my fard, but I wasn't going the extra mile. I wasn't putting too much effort on top of that. So before I came here, I thought I was doing well. Like, I thought I was a good Muslim. But now since I've been here and I've experienced, like, true ibadah, like, just dedicating entire days to just reading Quran and praying and going to the mosque, it's a completely different feeling. I mean, these were all the things that were going through my head and I think just pure astonishment and amazement at the Kaaba and the black stone and just the fact that I was there. It was just all so overwhelming. And we prayed our two rakat and then we went um, and we did Safa, no, we drank Zamzam water. And then we went and did Safa and Marwa, and that was also such an experience. That was a different experience. So, like, for the Tawaf, I couldn't stop crying for the whole thing. I cried the entire time. But when we were doing Safa and Marwa, it was a different feeling. I wasn't crying. It was pure happiness. Like, I was seeing so much white light, and I was so calm. Like, I felt so stress-free for the first time in ages. And it was just praising Allah, making du'a. I made um, your du'as as well. I went through all the comments and I did that. It took me a while. And that was, that was a different feeling. But that was also equally amazing. I don't know how to explain it. All I know is I wish that all of you can experience it. And any of you that have experienced it, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Oh, alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Um, SubhanAllah, uh, completed Umrah today. Um, such an amazing experience, you know. There's so many different aspects of it, like the community. It's quite quiet compared to normal, I think, still. Um, but it's busy enough to feel like, somebody said it beautifully, like, there's still Muslims in the Ummah, like there's still an Ummah. You know, sometimes, especially when we live in the West, we don't really congregate unless it's prayer time. You kind of forget about that, SubhanAllah. It's such a blessed thing to do. And you just, you feel, you feel Allah so close to you. You feel the angels so close to you. You really feel like whatever dua you make is going to get answered. Um, 
this whole experience, this whole trip in general has, it's been so crazy. Like Allah invited me here and I've learned so much since I've been here. I've changed so much since I've been here. I don't think I can go back home and be the same person. Maybe even 50% of me isn't going to be the same person as I was when I left. Skip your next beach holiday and book Umrah. Your life, if you come with the right intentions, I don't think it'll ever be the same again. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah.